The federal government has approved the national policy on fifth generation 5G network in Nigeria. Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, said this to journalists after the weekly Federal Executive Council meeting in Abuja. He explained that the benefits that accrue from employing such network include larger capacity, higher data rates, among other economic, health, security, and educational opportunities. According to the minister, the radiation from the 5G has proven to be lower than the 4G, televisions or microwaves, contrary to stories peddled on social media. That is the national policy on fifth generation networks for Nigeria's digital economy, the national policy on 5G. So that policy has been approved by the Federal Executive Council today. And uh, furthermore, the policy discusses the benefits to be attained through the deployment of 5G in Nigeria and in any part of the world, which includes like lower latency, like larger capacity, and also like higher data rate. These are the three major benefits of our fifth generation. And uh, in a simple language, we can say it will open many opportunities economically, academically, educationally, and even in health sector. And it will also support our security institutions, particularly in areas where they need high quality services. So these are some of the benefits to be uh, anticipated when fifth generation or 5G is deployed in Nigeria. And uh, prior to that, as you all know, in 2020, there was a time that we started working and we started the fifth generation trials. And there was a complaint from citizens about relationship between 5G and COVID-19. Because of uh, our government is a responsible one, we put everything on hold. We engage more stakeholders. We spend almost 18 months working on that. And we also wait for the resolution and the verdict of the two most important organizations globally when it comes to the deployment of telecommunications facilities. These are, firstly, International Telecommunications Union, that is ITU, which is an arm of the United Nations, and also World Health Organization, that is WHO, which is another arm of the United Nations. Both of them confirm that there is no any adverse health effect of uh, 5G, and it has not been proven to be any harmful to our health. Most importantly, even its frequency and uh, radiation is even lower than that of uh, 4G, and even lower than the televisions and microwave we have at home. So they have already issued that, and they explain about its uh, uh, safety, and also they advise nations on the regulations and the standards to be used in the course of the deployment. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.